Welcome back to another episode of This is the main character almost about to die and we are going lower than Quinn uh, and beat rice. Yeah, beat rice. 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 And Flora. Wait, Flora the Explorer. Isn't this uh, the, 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 the other girl, the flower girl? Makes complete sense. Uh, righty. So, let's talk with Quinn first, because he seems to be the owner of this shop somewhat. Uh, fresh fruit, only at Quinn's fruit. Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. Uh, oh, it's you again. What will you have today? Just a reminder, no discounts. Not even for a friend. I've said this before and I'll say it again. No discounts on the goods, because they're worth the price. Uh, come on, what if I bring you lunch? No discounts, no matter what you say. This is a good person. No discounts. Either you pay up or you pay nothing. In this case, nothing for no item, right? So, what about her? Fresh fruit, only at Quince. Da, 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 da. Uh, so there's no way to uh, kind of break up their conversation with each other. They're just uh, selling fruit. And miles. Have you run into any difficulties? Uh, what brings you here? Now I have not run in, uh, in any difficulties. Now why am I asking him this? So, as you can see, I'm a monster god. No shit. Uh, protecting the people, travelers and merchants is my duty. Okay. And there's nothing else we can ask him or whatnot. Oh, wait a minute. There's a cat. Hello, kitty cat. Um, um, yeah. Are you a quest? Dependent character. I actually wanted to sit on this edge uh, with this little kitty cat right there. Would be sweet. And also, why is there this uh, cloud? It had no apparent effect. Oh, there's another cat. Same artwork, same whatever. Oh, there. Another shroom. I'm not gonna get that. Because if I get higher and higher and higher, it will just collide with this somewhat wall there. Uh, there's no way for me to climb higher than this. It's just another way which is doing this. Nah, no, 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 no. Didn't, didn't, didn't work. Mm -mm. Not going to work. Hmm. All right. Oh, I can sit. Wait. I can sit on a chair, of course. A. Hey. Let's get up. Get up, stand up. Get up for the right. Hoffman. Hoofelman. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's another guard. Whoa, the cat actually does make a sound. Don't want to hit the cat, though. Because it might be connected to some kind of quests later on. And I don't want it to respawn too late or something. That's my Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi. Anything the knights can do for you? Well, it depends what you can do. Uh, I was just having a sleep. Uh, a sweep. Yeah, that's what it is. I was doing a sweep. Sweeping survey of all the um, safety blind spots in Monster. It's lagging off now. Uh, by no means. Not me. Never. Perish the thought. What a peculiar knight. Look at me, making a fool of myself. Uh, in any case, you can't say peace prevails in Mondstadt unless you've got a freeloading, sorry, I mean free-spirited knight to show for it. I'm sure my life would have been more interesting if I'd gone with the Adventurers Guild instead. What makes you say that? Like, he seems to be a very um, relaxed person, so I wouldn't see him uh, as part of an adventurous group. His mind seems to be somewhere else. What makes you say that? Just think, uh, as an adventurer, you'd get to go explore wherever you wanted. Literally anywhere in the seven nations of Tiba. And best of all, you can make a living from it. What could be more fun than that? Yeah, it does sound like a good deal. It also kind of depends on, yeah, what you have to do, right? Like, killing dragons and stuff might be a bit too much. Uh, exactly. I also feel like the knights have too serious an air about them for my liking. By comparison, the Adventure Guild doesn't have so many annoying rules and has a lot of interesting people. 
For example, there's Fischl. I don't always understand everything he she says, but it sounds really cool. If only I had joined the Adventures Guild back then, I might even be her partner right now. Or I've even thought of something to call myself. Something like the Doom Knight of Damnation. Sounds cool, right? Definitely. Or what about the Chaos Knight? Why am I going for a five? Actually, oh, Jesus. They all start talking over each other and it's turning into a real mess. Alright, uh, yeah, Flora is uh, coming up in a second, uh, but before we talk to Donna. Are you here for the flowers? Uh, why do you ask that? Uh, yeah, who are you? Uh... I'm just an ordinary girl helping out here. Helping who? Gosh, am I blushing? I was daydreaming about Dilok giving me flowers. Was it obvious? Why was it in brackets? Uh, don't don't look at me like that. Uh, there's nothing special about me. Dilok? Who's Dilok? I n think I know this name. Oh, did I just say? Oh, I'm sorry. I've been daydreaming about meeting Dilok here, so I uh, no, I did. What do I do? I love Dilok so much. Oh, uh, flowers. I... just a lucky guess. I think, like, the look is... Come on, wasn't there, like, another... Uh, there we go. Moon pie. What? Are you here for the moon pie? Uh, they are a specialty of Mondstadt. A kind of meat pie that is sweet and fulfilling. I could make a delicious moon pie and give it to the look. <gasps> stop, stop it, Donna. Oh, if you have the chance, be sure to check them out. All right. So, her mind is all about that base. That base may trouble. Sorry for bothering you. Yeah, I see. Have a nice day. Uh huh. Great. Next one here in this corner. Flora, the explorer. Hi, Flora. Now, uh, welcome to Floral Whisper. Do you need anything? Maybe some flowers. Tell me about your flowers. We carry a large variety of flowers. Are you looking for anything in particular? So let's talk about all of them, starting with dandelions. Uh, are so very feathery. They are my personal favorite. The acting grandmaster of the knights is also known as the Dandelion Knight, as I recall. She probably learned the power of animal from the Dandelions here. Uh, yeah, just let yourself flow with the wind. Why do you like Dandelions so much? Uh, I wonder. Maybe it's because I've been reading the fox in the Dandelion Sea. Oh, wait. Fox in Dandelion Sea. Wasn't this the same book uh, as this one kid outside the city also has right same thing now then here take it maybe you will like dandelions too once you finish reading it yeah they're actually quite interesting flowers so welcome to flow ba -ba 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 -ba. so tell me about the flowers uh now we continue with the sweet flowers what are sweet flowers you see um they look nice but most people just use them for cooking uh, if you see people having sweet flowers in their gardens, they are probably used to get sugar. Uh, but why would you want to uh, like get sugar from flowers? Like that's weird. Uh, shouldn't it be more like a plant thing? Like a flower usually is just there for looks uh, and maybe some. Mm, let's not say minuscule medicinal uh, effect or something, but um, the amount you need. Like you don't grow them for quantity, you grow them for quality, like a specific uh, molecule uh, or compound in that flower, right? Is used for medicinal purposes or whatever, but you don't use them as sugar uh, because that would mean you utilize the quantity of the thing, right? You can make or grow huge quantities of that, in this case, sugar or starch or whatnot. Um, but flowers aren't really the kind of plants that grow in quantities. Like many flowers, yes, um, but they are f slim. That's what I mean. So, um, Cecilia's, what are they? You've got good taste. They grow in cold and windy places. Legend has it that they only bloom when it's quiet. If you wish to cultivate them, uh, you'll probably have better luck with mist flowers. Alrighty, now what are her other dialogue options? Sorry for bothering you, no. Uh, I'd like to buy some flowers. 
Certainly, we have a fine selection whether you're looking to give a bouquet to someone or even do some gardening. Now then, uh, the sweet flower? I got 50 of those. Uh-huh. This is why you need them for some recipes, now I understand. The wind wheel aster. I also got 17. Cecilia's 37. Uh, 40 small lamp grasses and color lilies. Also 15. So I don't need to buy any of these. Great. Uh, the reason I want to buy at least one uh, is so I have some kind of an understanding what kind of items I can get here. Uh, and also that I can at least in-game uh, figure out where things are or where to get certain items. This is why I want to have at least one of each in my inventory. So, yeah, so that I can uh, find flowers that I need with ease, uh, without using the wiki. Also, that might mean that I uh, may not find a specific flower or that only goes in specific places. Now, Nimrod. Strange name. Um, yeah, what's the matter? What are you doing? Yeah, hmm. is that a trick question? I'm on my way to have a drink. Uh, it's fine. I don't think my wife will have overheard that. Uh, if you're far enough away, then probably yes. So, I actually had to sneak out to buy some wine. How can you deny Monstara the right to drink? When even one of the four drunkards is a woman. Uh, how can my wife be so narrow-minded? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the four drunkards is a woman? How can... Hmm. Exactly because of this reason. Who are the four drunkards? Uh, that's kind of like a band almost. You want to know more about them? Eh, hey, why? Uh, they are nothing short of legends in Mondstadt, on par with the Knights of Favonius Grandmaster Varka. So he seems to be a friend of the glass as well. Oh, ooh, that's a nice name for a tavern. Uh, or bar, the friends of the glass. <laughs> uh, I can see you're only pretending to follow. Uh, are you from out of town? No wonder you haven't heard. There's no point giving you their real names then, uh, but I'll give you their nicknames and see if you can figure that out. They are Sir Dulwitz. <laughs> Come on, just Dulwitz. Just because they're drunk doesn't mean they're stupid, but okay. Uh, Sir Dulwitz, the Oblivious Merchant. Oh. So they have a name and a title. The Oblivious Merchant, Dame Workshy, the Absentee Boss, <laughs> Odias, Odd, odd ears, because of the ears, uh, the incredible hunter, and rookie Mac schoolboy, the inexperienced hunter. <laughs> oh, the names are amazing. Uh, it should be pretty obvious by now, huh? Uh, talk to you later. So... Oh, wait, wait, who has new stuff? Hey, can I pet you? I can pet, I cannot pet you, wait, what? Okay. Definitely should be in one of those patches. Uh, why can't you just make a little pet animation for the doggy? And for the cats as well, if you add it. Now, Huffman. Good day, Natifolonius, at your suds. Is this dog following? This dog is following me. Uh, let's look at this dog for now. Uh, now, uh, tell me about the Knights of Avonius, because we don't know anything about it. Since I don't want to take up your time touring Monster, and I'll make it short. Uh, the Knights of Avonius are the protectors of Monster, the swords and shields of the city. So you'd like to know how we're doing lately? Thank you for your concern. Me and my outstanding colleagues are protecting our beloved people as usual. Uh-huh. As usual, because there's nothing here to protect them from. Now, tell me about Monster. It's a city adored by its Archon and its people, which is the reason for the Knights of Avonius' existence. Well, that's all. Our belief is short and simple. That's strong, isn't it? Uh, does, like, hmm. A short and simple belief makes things easy to distinguish from things. Oh, I have to say that the animation of the dog is well made. There's just one thing missing, the petting animation. So, Thorn Winery, the recruitment guide. Wait, what? Alright. Let's read up on this. Uh, to the battle-hardened connoisseurs of fine wines and fighting arts. Ooh, fight club. 
The fine wines meticulously brewed at the Dawn Winery have always quenched people's thirst for the first. Finest liquor. Finest liquor. Why does the game not just tune down uh, the voices? That would be so good. Anyway. Furthermore. <laughs> uh, furthermore, the tax revenue is generated by the... Okay, better. Ah, no, it's just no. Actually, no. I need some. I need some background. The thing is, uh, the 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 game is just ex incredibly loud, and they just don't stop because I just read some text here. They uh, the game only tunes down the voices once you speak to one of these characters, uh, but not when you actually interact with other stuff in here. It's just weird. So where was I? Uh, generally, by the way, uh, winery alone abounded to 11.4% of the annual expenditure of the Nanites of the Winners. Okay, I cannot do this because they're just annoying. Always screaming in my ear, like, why? Why can't you just have the same uh, lowering of... Okay, let's do this by hand then. Uh, music dial dialogue, okay. No, let's go with no dialogue. All right. So, there we go. Um, we are grateful for your patronage and proud to support Mondstadt and its people. By the prosperity we enjoy today may be at risk, but uh, the prosperity we enjoy today may be at risk. In recent years, the number of wild monsters has dropped considerably. Under the repression of the Knights of Veronius, uh, the lives of property of people have been safeguarded. But wildlife has proliferated inordinately due to the lack of natural predators. Although the winery has made it its highest priority to secure the vineyard, an average of 10 or more vines are uprooted by boars every week. Ooh, that's a lot. If this situation persists, the yield of our vineyard will decrease dramatically. As such, the Dawn Vinery is like looking for skilled fighters like you, who aspire to preserve Monster and its fine wines. Visit the Dawn Vinery with your best gear today. Join us in safeguarding the Town Vinery and Monster. Estimated value based on data from previous years. Any figures stated do not represent the official financial situation of the Knights of Bavonius, which is the 11.4%. So, um, is there anything else I can read up on? Like a, like this poster and that poster, because I just, uh, yeah, let's read just all of the posters real quick uh, before we talk to any other person here. Because I don't want to uh, go into the menu and back out and back into the menu again and back out and back into the menu again. You get the idea. Uh, just to increase or decrease the voice levels of specific... What's this now? Um, friends came for a drink temporarily closed. Manager. Oh, this must be uh, um, the not working uh, drunkard. Uh, do people in Monster really love drinking that much? And this was Paimon, probably. All right. Uh, let's change the audio setting again uh, to max tilt. Perfect. So, pattern. Who or what are you? See? Once you enter the dialogue setting, then all of the other dialogue just gets tuned down. Uh, come in, come in. We are having a discount at Angel's Share. Uh, yeah, do you have any specials these days? Yeah, currently we are giving every customer a free chicken mushroom. Skew it, uh, go skewer. It goes great with any drink. Here, take one and have a seat. I promise it'll suit your liking. And we got a chicken mushroom skewer. Five Not five, four times. Reading helps. So, tell me about Angel's Share. It was way back when the Dawn Winery was just established when the owner of the winery opened this tavern. The winery owner, Master Diluc, oh, uh, still holds the deed to Angel's share. He really has taken the business to the next level. The best in Mozart is the truth. Master Diluc serves the customers here personally when he's in a good mood and let Charles off for a day or two. 
If you see him here, be respectful. He is Moonshot's tycoon, you know, because he owns everything and everyone. Tell me about the winery industry in Monster. Monster's climate, water and crops are all perfect for making wine. I have to agree, we are blessed by the animal aqua. Basically wind, right? Good wind is good. Uh, except when there's a storm terror above the uh, city. Apple cider and cherry ciders, all tasty, mighty nice. I all taste mighty nice. I forgot the to mention Dandelion wine, that's one of a kind. By exporting to Lyon's trade union, uh, Mondstadt's wine will be sold all over the continent. They make incredible sales over there. Some even call it bottled Mora. This must be why Don Winery owner is so filthy rich. Because they put their Mora in a bottle. Now then, uh, I could sit or I could talk to Stanley. I'm talking to Stanley. Now, I'm Stanley. Remember my name? You're also here for my stories, aren't you? Depends on what your stories are. Tell me some of your parables. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, Stanley. It's Stanley. Some adventurers you... Some adventurer you must be if you don't even know my name. I'm a living... Living legend among adventurers. The man who waded through the mare, Jivery and Geyser realm. I have enough stories to tell for three days straight. The Mara Jivari? Sharp, that's the best out of all my legendary stories. On the other side of this continent, there's a barren domain where nothing grows. A sea of ashes with nothing but silence that will make your ears ring. Goes on and on. And the monster created a vortex in the Mara Jivari, so I held tightly onto my friend's hand. Goes on and on. Sadly, I was the only one who returned home to monster with tears in my eyes. Are you guys falling asleep? Wake up. You. Oh, that's a very... oh. Show you a jeweler. So, they're called jewelers for a reason. That was a little bit on the edge right now. Now, why won't anything sell? Either the prices are too high or your customers don't see the value in your product. Now, um, what won't sell? Maybe I can just take it away. <laughs> uh, jewelry. Even though I brought all of this personally from Mingqing, uh, jewelry in Liu. I need to know how this is uh, uh, pronounced. Li Yu. Let's call it Yu with a U. Li Yu. Arbor. They are the best of the best. I mean, just look at these. You dress funny. Are you a traveler? Fair enough. I guess now you're right to tell me that these are no use to you on your travels anyway, right? It depends on what kind of buffs they get. Um, yeah, this is uh, what I see or where I see the value in a product, right? Uh, it's use, right? Uh, in this case, boosting the character's status. I totally misjudged this one. I, my, I thought I could increase sales by moving into Monster. You don't just increase sales by moving somewhere, right? Like, mm, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes not, but you need a reason for that too. Uh, little did I know people here would sooner spend every last morrow to their name at the tavern than take a look at what I'm selling. Maybe they just can't afford it. Hmm. I suppose not everyone is as affluent as Liu. Yeah, this is the reason. You need a certain customer base that is happy or like it, yeah that it, that is going to spend money on a thing you buy this is also uh, the general problem of today's society uh, which is not a um, a production problem like what can I produce uh, that can be sold for uh, a profit but rather a uh, who can I sell things to right? uh, we have a customer problem uh, we can't find the people that are uh, willing, willing, that was the name for it, that are willing to buy uh, certain products. And this is uh, the major problem. This is why, like, uh, companies that manage people um, are rising uh, in the last few years. Like Facebook, for example, is also uh, a company that manages people. 
or ICE or whatever. Um, of course, they're like an ad agency at the moment because they just uh, sell advertising uh, information to companies that want to sell things. Again, uh, they connect the product sellers to the people that might be willing to, uh, to buy a certain product. Um, and again, this is the problem that we have because most of the stuff can be produced fairly easily and also in very high quantities and also um, with a specific quality in mind, right? Like, uh, of course, like sometimes you want uh, stuff to have like a, the absolute best quality. It will never break. It never needs to be repaired or maintained or whatever. It just works all the time, right? Um, it's nice and it also is the perfect thing. It will never be improved upon because it's already at the peak, right? Um, this is the absolute best product, but again, perfection comes with a certain price to it. That means people should also be willing to spend a certain uh, amount of currency uh, on the perfect product. But customers don't tend to do that. Uh, they tend, or at least they are trained to, uh, buy cheap things, right? Knockoffs and whatnot. Uh, no, you don't even need to uh, have knockoffs or something. But uh, most of the time, you just have uh, a fight for the cheapest product by cutting away features uh, and quality uh, points, let's say, um, of items until you have found the MVP, the minimum valuable product, uh, which is the thing that you can sell that still is good enough. Uh, so that people will not just uh, uh, will not come and return it and want their money back, right? Um, this is what they sell usually, an MVP. Uh, they're not going for the maximum valuable product. So uh, what can I sell um, that people are willing to spend thousands and thousands and thousands uh, uh, of uh, currency on, right? Um, like it could be for graphics cards. This is what Apple does, uh, or Nvidia, or like oof, maybe uh, Tesla too, right? Uh, they try to sell um, items towards high-earning uh, individuals that can also spend, or that are also willing to spend um, a higher amount of money for this kind of stuff. Like there's no reason to buy uh, a high-end item of whatever kind um, if you can see a certain use scenario for a cheaper one, right? Um, or another uh, kind of item that does almost the same but does not have all of those features. And whatnot. Um, so yeah, then you would fall basically in another, uh, another customer base. Uh, this is again by finding specific customers and kind of moving them towards the company that um, uh, that wants to sell this product is a good thing. This is also why, like, okay, like, advertisement is good. Uh, the problem is when advertisement goes a bit too far by just trying to, uh, yeah, to, to, to lie to people. Um, or maybe not, let's not, let's not say they are lying. Let's say they are bending the truth a bit too much, <laughs> right? Um, they try to um, say something that might not actually be true just to keep face, right? Same thing. Mm, because they have to, otherwise they can just kick out all of their workers and whatnot because they will not be able to uh, pay them. It's just a, yeah. They kind of cornered themselves, right? This is the problem. Anyway. Uh, let's talk to her again because there was some other dialogue stuff there. Um, what bone cell? Yeah, tell me about Liu. Ah, so you want to know about my hometown. Uh, Liu has the busiest commercial port in all of Tehran. Uh, there's a merchant. There's merchants from all over the world there. He, he. Uh, growing up in a place like that, I knew I wanted to go into business from a very young age. Have you heard of Lord Morax? Oh, that's a nice name. The god who watches over Liu. What is my... Ah, the god of money. Mora. <laughs> of course, it's the god who also, uh, yeah, looks over the traders and whatnot. 
<sighs> Makes sense. Um, at the very least, you should know should know that the Mora you have there is named after him. Uh, kind of figure that out. Uh, I haven't been back in a long time. Maybe the reason I can't make any money is because I'm too far away from Lord Morax. <laughs> uh, it might be. Maybe you have to sell wind. Because we are here in Animo City, so you should do something with wind. Right? If you're somewhere where a certain thing is rich in occurrence, then try to use it uh, in your product. Right? Like, we are in a windy place. Try to use that wind to do things. Like sailing and whatever. You can use ships. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. Uh, what do you sell here? Probably uh, jewelry and stuff. Uh, take a look and you'll see. Top quality goods at low, low prices. All direct from Liu. Well, if they're too low, then you don't make any profit. And if you don't make any profit, then uh, the amount of stuff you can sell in the next... Uh, yeah, uh, the next time, uh, with the next bulk or whatever, um, with the next batch, just shrinks uh, until you have nothing to sell anymore. And this is why uh, making a profit uh, is good for business. Because otherwise you just cannibalize yourself. Um, hmm. This is not jewelry. This is a green set. And for some reason I don't seem to have those flowers. Why? Why do I not have those flowers? Like, I own two of these, none of these, none of these for some reason. What is the difference between these two and this one goblet uh, and like this feather and this thumb? Hmm. Maybe uh, the owned stuff does not mean how many I have in my inventory, but rather um, what kind of items do I have equipped on the character? That might be it. Okay, before we do any uh, other talking uh, with any other NPCs in here, we... Actually, wait a minute. Um, this is the last NPC before we go into the higher quarters of this town. So let's talk to Xia or Xia next. And then we uh, go upwards. This would be... So much better with some child's edit or chilies. I wonder if I should say something. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, oh, hello, you're visiting here too. I am Xia from Chu Rock uh, in Liu. My job is eating. Wait, no, there's a word for it gourmet. I'm a professional gourmet. I'm in Mondstadt specially to try the food. Mostly because I heard that chef Xing Ling from Wan Min <laughs> restaurant get some of her ingredients from here. I like that there's a focus on fresh quality produce, but in terms of presentation and seasoning, I gotta say Liu is a cut above. Regardless of whether you're talking about Li or Yu cuisine, uh, yeah, surely you're exaggerating, aren't you? Uh, I'm just saying the plain old truth. Uh, I'm in an Eve native of Liu, but as a gourmet, I'm nothing if not fair and impartial. It's just as well that I made some black back perch stew this morning. Uh, have a taste. You should be able to tell the difference right away. And uh, we got some new stuff, maybe. So, what are you doing? She's a gourmet, yada 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 And uh, Li cuisine? Uh, yep. Uh, one of the two big culinary traditions in Liu. Lee style cooking is all about rich, indulgent dishes packed with flavor. It uses a lot of ingredients from up in the mountains. The place you should go to try it is Li Uli Pavilion in Liu Harbor. They have the best Li trained chef working for them. Alright. Is there a way to go through the dialogues quicker? Because it's somehow it's like I want to go to the next uh, choice here. Anyway, uh, one of the two major culinary traditions in Liu, the other being Li. Okay, so the um, the yu, the Yu Yu style cooking puts emphasis on lighter, brighter flavors. It's heavily seafood based, so if that's your thing, you have to try it. If you do want to try it, the most authentic Yu style cooking is at the Xin Yu kiosk in Liu. 
Only thing is, uh, for both the Xin Yu kiosk and Li Yu Li Pavilion, you have to book about half a year in advance. <sighs> so, we're not going to do that, it seems. The Nimrod Freeway. This looks like you could hide a chest down here. Or not. Or a character without stamina. Now then. Uh... This dog is really following me. That's strange. And this is the bank. Maybe. And this is uh, stuff just put outside of the city. Great. Now, I'm probably... Yeah, somewhere over here. Wait a minute. Uh, I can go so this way, this way, this way. Uh, behind? Wait, what? Where am I looking? There! Still more. Is it that? Yeah, that might be it. Uh, and then there's this, uh... Ah, it's a... Mm, it's a tavern. Alright. So, before we talk to him, uh, and also all of the people somewhere higher in the city, we will end this episode for now and continue with another one at another time. Ha ha ha. Until then, uh, like and subscribe.